call me when you moan, people don't know what you're moaning about. Some people moan when they're glad, and some people moan when they're sad. You see, either way the wind blows, it's cool with me. My doctor told me not to pick up nothing heavier than bigger than egg, and not too many heavy thighs. Man on the other side, look at him. Today I got a letter in the mail from the president, Bush and Quail. There's a important notice. Please read carefully. There's a dear Mr. West, the Department of Social Service will hereby grant you a relief check on June the 3rd of $303.21 per month. You will receive a health card. Yeah. Everybody need a health card these days with all these things going around. It says, uh, you may also qualify for food stamps. Now, what in the hell does it mean I may qualify? When I almost got caught last night at the Piggy Wiggy coming out with a pork roast up under my spirit. Like the Godfather said, they ain't nothing got too far gone. Boy, look at him. They said, uh, you must report any change in your address, income, assets, size of your family, and other situations to your local welfare office within the next 10 days. What about the people living in them hotels? They've been reporting to the welfare office. Y'all did a damn thing for them. How you gonna do so much for me? Yeah, I, I don't wanna be sassy, but I thank you for this piece of paper I got today. <laughs> I got my check today. Yes, sir, Reebok. I done finished school and still can't get a job. You know, every time they send me to a job site, when I get there, they tell me, say, oh, that was still last night. I used to say to myself, now, that don't even sound right. See, I thought it was the color of my skin with the black. Until I turned around, I saw the next 10 people get turned down, their skin was white. See, it's not about the color, creed, or race. All kinds of people waiting in line down at the welfare place. You know, I went over to a separate thing probably. See, about to get a job. I said, I can drive a truck. They wanted to know if I had a degree in chemistry. I said, hmm, y'all must want me to mix up the stuff. Have you ever had an appointment with your caseworker at 9 o'clock in the morning? You waited all day and you didn't see us at 3 o'clock that afternoon. Just for that bitch to tell you to come back next Tuesday to recertify. And if you had to speak to the supervisor, they'll tell you she's in a meeting all day long. Or they might use this line and say, uh, she's out the hunt. Now who in the hell come to work 9 o'clock in the morning and go to lunch at 10? Boy, they got them for you down there with them. Man, let me tell you, I'm hungry. I need some food in my house. See, I ain't no hunter. I wasn't raised in the woods. I don't know nothing about going looking in the bushes trying to find no quail. Why don't y'all give me an emergency relief check? Don't come tell me that man's about the computers down. Which they almost always do. And if they do get a check, it won't be them for $10. Now, how in the hell... Tim and I are gonna pay for a cigarette, cigarette, half a pint, half a pint, pound bacon, egg, and milk. Bacon, egg, and milk. Some of y'all will run trying to catch the man on the corner. Y'all get yourself together. Y'all know it ain't right. Talking about if I stray, I can get rehabilitated. Well, it was in your mind to come down and try to get that check. It all will be in your mind trying to get correct. Some of you ladies abuse the system. You take your money and give it to the 30 to 31 crew. You know, uh, the guys that don't come around to the last of the month, 
know the 30 to 31 And then y'all be talking about it. I got my tip today I know what y'all be talking about